have about one micro sievert per hour, maybe a little more, on the dark sand. Oh, you're winning. But the lighter sand, for example, up by the cliff here, gives us a lower reading. Sorry for my crummy, uh, wiggly camera motion. This is a little bit difficult to do. I don't want to drop this thing in the sand because sand would get onto the, the Geiger tube, which would be bad. So here, the side of the cliff is also lower than the dark sand. We are at El Granada Beach. When I come back to the dark sand here, you'll see it rise again. This integrates at 30 seconds. dug this hole to show that the dark and light sand layers are layered up. So really everywhere here has some of that dark sand in it, even in the areas that are lighter. It tends to be light over here by the water. And then there's patches of dark coming down the beach. Different places. This is at Half Moon Bay State Beach. This is a reference to compare with the other beach at El Granada, which is about five miles north of here. So here we don't find that dark sand. We have a much lower reading.